How's it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Orange Bowl prediction video, the controversial BCS Bowl. Florida State versus Northern Illinois people as you all know saying that Northern Illinois doesn't deserve a shot in this game. They don't have a shot to win. They don't deserve a shot to win. We want to see Oklahoma. We want to see Georgia. We want to see somebody else. And that alone is enough to motivate motivate any program aside not with any program, not only a program like Northern Illinois with a quarterback such as Jordan Lynch. Jordan Lynch, this man should be going to New York for the Eisen ceremony. This guy is an absolute stud. I heard all the hype about him and I got to see him against Kent State and that guy is for real. He is one of the most exciting players in the country and he's gonna make things in this game extremely interesting. I don't know if anybody, any defense in the country can hold this guy or not in a game. I mean, Florida State, we all know good defense, giving up 50 points a game, 15, not 50. A seventh overall in the country, giving up, like I said, 15 points a game. So, I mean, you think if anybody has a shot at stopping this guy, it could be Florida State's defense. And honestly, don't think they can contain him the whole entire game. I think they might, I mean, it's, they're, um, Northern Illinois is going to, their eyes are going to be wide open when they see walk onto that field and they see the size of this Florida State defense, Florida State offensive line, and the whole entire team in general. The skill positions they have, the overall depth, just the skill in general is so much better. The size is so much better on Florida State compared to Northern Illinois. It's old Northern Illinois. They are nowhere the type of program that Florida State is, but that's not what defines a football team. What defines a football team is leadership, coaching, fundamentals, and many of the things that I can't think of right now. And Northern Illinois, with Jordan Lynch as their leader, he's definitely going to emerge as, unquestionably, if he wasn't already, the number one leader on this team. Because, if you all know, their head coach, except the head coaching job at NC State, don't know why you would do that. I mean, your team would never had had 0% chance at making a BCS Bowl before the year lost the game and still has a shot at winning the Orange Bowl against Florida State, the big traditional power in Florida State, and they have a chance, and he leaves, which I think is sad, but I mean, it is what it is, and people like to complain about Northern Illinois, they say they lost to Iowa, blah, 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 and people forget the fact and, and avoid saying they lost to Iowa by a point, they barely lost that game, Iowa had to come back to win. And it was the first game of the season, so I mean, teams are so much different now than they were early on in the season. And usually, when you see a team like Northern Illinois who busts the BCS as a great offense, a great quarterback, explosive team, you think they have a, a bad defense. But let me look at the stats. But I, I know Northern Illinois has an extremely good defense for a team like Northern Illinois. I mean, for a MAC team, they have one of the best defenses in the MAC. They're giving up 19 points a game to be exact, with the, which is 18th in the country compared. I think, what did I just say? Florida State was 17th or 7th? That's what's that, a four point difference? I mean, uh, they they have a good defense, they have a good offense. They're overall a really fundamentally sound, good football team. And don't forget, they have a running back. What is his name? Uh, Settle. His last name is Settle. He's been out for a long time with an ankle injury or somewhat of an injury. And that he's going to be healthy for this game, so he'll be back. Their wide receiver, Martel Moore, is an extremely explosive receiver. Don't sleep on him. He has over 1,000 yards in the year. So this is a really good football team with talent around him with the skill positions. I mean, of course, the offensive line is going to be a mitch match, or the lines in general. And I think Florida State will be able to run the ball in Northern Illinois, definitely. I mean, they'll get big plays. They'll explode. They'll have – they'll score on will. But I think Hart alone – and the quarterback position, I mean, I hate to say it, I hate to compare with the talent levels, but, I mean, Jordan Lynch is probably a better quarterback than E.J. Manuel. And I said this in my Louisville, Florida prediction. When you have the most important position in football is quarterback. And when your quarterback is better than the opposing team's quarterback, you have a chance to win no matter who is around them. They have a chance to win because they're not only the player that makes everybody else around them better, they're the player that touches the football every single play. Not the defensive line, not the offensive line, not the running backs, not the wide receivers. Quarterback touches the ball every single play. When that best player 
has a chance to touch the football. Amazing things can ha- ama- amazing things can happen, and Jordan Lynch is definitely capable of capable of amazing things, even against a team like Florida State. But man, I hate to build them up like that and to tear them down. But my overall prediction, I know people are predicting Florida State by three touchdowns or more. I'm giving Florida State a touchdown victory in this game. I, I wrote this down. I think I said uh, 31 to 24 Florida State in this game, and uh, won't be surprised the least bit if Northern Illinois wins this game. Because I mean, I think Florida State. I mean, they have they're they're gonna be in trouble. Their defensive coordinator is going to Kentucky. I mean, Northern Illinois is not the only team in this scenario that is gonna have trouble replacing the coach. I mean. Defensive coordinator is just as important as an offensive quarter. I mean, a uh, head coach. I mean, he's the one that gets their defense ready for every single game. And, I mean, it's going to be a tough task getting ready for a quarterback like Jordan Lynch and be able to stop him in the Orange Bowl. And uh, it's hard alone to think where the noise, the noise stays in this game. But usually when you want a BCS Bowl guy, I mean, a, a team like this to win, you pull for the underdog. Somehow, the better team and the more talented team, the more physical team, finds a way to win, and somehow Florida State will, of course, find a way to beat Northern Illinois in this game. E.J. Manuel, the receivers, the defense, Bojan Warner, too much, too much for Northern Illinois, and I know I build them up, but Florida State's an extremely talented team, one of the best defenses in the country, and like I said, I think it's a stretch, and some people will say it's a stretch, but um, Northern Illinois, I do think it's 24 points in Florida State's defense some way or another, and you'll see what I'm talking about when you watch Jordan Lynch play, and, uh, yeah, so, that's been my prediction, I said 24, 30, wait, 31-24 Florida State to beat Northern Illinois, hope you guys enjoyed all my BCS ball predictions, this might, this might be the last one I, I upload, I'm not sure, I could mention match them, I just made all of them, this is my last one, and whatever, but. If you guys enjoyed, let me know what your prediction for this game is in the comment section below. Um, let me know what you think the score is going to be. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, roll tide, go Sox, and go Titans to you. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.